Let's go do some weed eating. We have such beautiful white fencing here on the farm and the weeds come up. The tractor can't get close enough, so we use our Echo weed eater to get close in. Got the safety gear on. My gloves, I'm totally covered so that the weeds don't hit me. And this has a safety as well. You have to have this engaged before you get started. And then, get it going. Here we go. Now you can see we've got it all cleaned up along this side, but we can't quite reach everything on the other side. So we're going to go around and we're going to get the other side ready, and then we're going to paint it. can't get the, the gate very far open because the tractor wasn't able to get this corner. We're going to get that first before we hit the other side of that fence. Here at the farm we have a lot of tumbleweed. They're really annoying, but they're kind of fun in the winter as they roll along. how tough these are but these are stickery and they're thick and they're very hard to remove. Jacko's taking care of them, no problem. <laughs> it's a big one, let's see how it does. So after that, the line gets cut up a bit, so we're going to let some more line out and make it finish it off. Check that out. Wow, a big one. I don't think that took more than maybe 10 minutes. 
would have taken me hours to weed that. So this is one of my favorite tools we have here on the farm. And I'll tell you, if you look around the edges, it appears we need paint. So I have a new paint sprayer we're gonna have to check out. Sometimes there's things around the farm that can really, really get in your way. Used to be a horse property. They marked the fences with all of this white tape. Gonna have to untangle myself. Luckily, I have the pocket knife with me so that I can get this off of here. It's freaking tough. Wow. So my only frustration is I have one, two, three, four, and one large pat paddock to get through. And I've gotten one large and one small part way done and I'm already at battery. So what you can do is you can look at the back here and there's a button here on the front that you can see how much battery life you have left. I'd say the battery probably lasted 15 minutes total, especially since I was running it continually. So it depends on how tough the job is. Might need a backup battery for this one. So as you saw, that was the Echo cordless battery powered weed whacker. It's quite the beast when it has battery. However, the battery does not last that long. And once you're out of power, you're done for a half hour or so until your battery charges. Or if you have an extra battery, you have to go replace that with a new one. So you can keep working. I recommend that weed whacker for small jobs around the front yard. However, I wouldn't recommend it for long continuous jobs that last 20 minutes or more because the battery is simply not going to last that long for you but we've liked it so far it's easy to load the string i will show you guys how to do that in another video uh, but for now we will continue our chores let's get the tumbleweed out of here before they get stuck in the fence again
packed in that little bit that I went around with the weed eater, that is how much piles of sticky weeds, tumbleweed, that has built up over like the last month or two. So we're gonna move this over to the burn pile and hopefully I can get Struggle a bit with it. Can't get it shut. Got it. <laughs> Come on, let's go put it in the burn pile. Here in Central Oregon, we have a very short amount of time between the really hot, dry summer and the winter where it starts to rain and then we get snow. So we have to clear all of any materials that we have around the farm that need to be burned before all this weather comes in. And like I said, it's a very short window. So we're gonna pile this up, we're gonna go get more, and perhaps we'll do a burn pile so you can see that too. <laughs> 